Hey everybody! Long before dinosaurs appeared, the Earth was ruled by completely different creatures, equally as fierce and enormous. Today, we will travel back in time and take a look at the monsters that inhabited our planet before the arrival of the dinosaurs. Dunkleosteus Nature produced a bizarre creature in the Devonian period, 415 to 360 million years ago. It was probably the strangest shark in history. Dunkleosteus was an ancient monster, a huge fish, the largest marine predator of its time and believe me, incredibly fierce. Aside from its massive size, ranging from 6 to 10 meters according to various sources, it had bony plates that protected its head like armor. Instead of teeth, it had large bone-crushing plates capable of breaking through the shell of any well-protected animal. Fossils of Dunkleosteus have been found worldwide in Morocco, Belgium, Poland, and North America. Although only the armored, meter-long head was preserved in fossils, scientists estimate the Dunkleosteus could have weighed up to one ton. Dunkleosteus belonged to primitive armored fish called plasoderms. Its skeleton, like others of the class Plasodermi, was made of cartilage rather than true bone. The head and the front part of the body were protected by strong armor, which gave this class of fish its name. Its jaws were perfect for crushing arthropods, ammonite shells, and armored fish. Dunkleosteus remains are often found alongside chewed bones. It is believed that it regurgitated bones it could not digest, like other armored fish. Helicoprion The story of this creature began in 1899 when its remains were discovered during excavations in the Ural Mountains. This discovery marked the birth of a mystery that captivated paleontologists worldwide. The subject of this intrigue was a unique fossil, spiral-shaped teeth that resembled the blades of a chainsaw. As more parts of the creature were found, many scientists believed the teeth belonged to a prehistoric shark. They named it Helicoprion. A breakthrough came in 2013 when researchers decided to use a CT scan on a Helicoprion fossil found in Idaho in the 1950s, which had been stored in the Idaho Museum of Natural History. The fossil preserved sentiments of Helicoprion's jaw, finally providing the key to solving the mystery. Helicoprion belonged to the family of cartilaginous fish known as eugenodonts and was not a shark. It measured between 4 and 7 meters in length. Its most striking feature was the astonishing spiral of teeth located in the center of its mouth, protruding like a chainsaw where one would expect to see a tongue. Experts now believe that Helicoprion's tooth structure was used for cutting prey or even removing shells from shelled cephalopods for an incredible period of over 20 million years. Dimetrodon Dimetrodons were predators that ate any animal they could overpower. The largest Dimetrodon measured 4.5 meters, making it the largest predator of its time. In addition to its size and strength, Dimetrodon had another advantage. It was a mammal-like reptile and had specialized teeth. The incisors stripped meat from bones while the serrated canines cut it into pieces. But that wasn't the only feature that made this creature more advanced from the others. For instance, female Dimetrodons didn't just lay eggs, they protected them for about six months, but only until they hatched. After that, young Dimetrodons were on their own and were lucky if they didn't become dinner for their adult relatives. Adult Dimetrodons were cannibals. However, the young instinctively knew how to protect themselves. For example, they could dive into a pile of dung. Adults couldn't stand it. Once they escaped their pursuers, the young could hide in foliage or trees. This harsh selection process at the beginning of life weeded out the weak, leaving only the strongest and most agile individuals. But how do scientists identify cannibals that lived almost 300 million years ago? Paleontologists often find remains of smaller members of the same species inside a predator's fossilized remains. If the bones show signs of injury and tooth marks from adult individuals, it is considered evidence of cannibalism. Scutosaurus Let's move to the next era, 250 million years ago, about 20 to 30 million years before the first dinosaurs appeared. The Earth was already inhabited by large, remarkable reptiles, Scutosaurus. 
These three and a half meter long creatures had tough, bony plates and were distant relatives of turtles. They were herbivores. However, given that these herbivores were so formidable, the predators hunting them had to be extremely strong and vicious. And there were such. Gorgonops Some species of these creatures were over 4 meters long and had 12 centimeter saber-like teeth, making them the first saber-toothed animals in history. Although Gorgonops are considered primitive now, they were perfectly engineered killing machines during their time. The word machine is fitting because Gorgonopsians weren't very intelligent. Their brains were extremely primitive, with the cerebellum being the most developed part, providing for good motor coordination. It's possible that they only used their saber-like fangs to wound their prey, allowing them to easily kill it later when it got weaker. Gorgonops had no equals until dinosaurs appeared tens of millions of years after Gorgonops were extinct. Tani Strophius these amazing animals appeared on our planet 247 million years ago and ruled for almost 40 million years, a testament to their success. It's no wonder, as while the land was scorched and food was scarce during the Middle Triassic period, the seas were a feast for tiny strophius. Their neck alone measured 3.5 meters, enabling them to catch fish and various crustaceans. Desmato Suchis about 237 million years ago, a real armored tank that measured 4.5 meters roamed the Earth. It was Desmatosuchus. It had reliable bony armor made of interconnected plates making it very difficult prey for predators. This herbivore was well armed against any potential attack. Full body armor stretched along its body, featuring large shields and enormous spikes, with the two largest measuring about 45 centimeters. Desmatosuchus likely became extinct due to their heavy armor, primitive lungs, and predators like Staurocosaurus, one of the planet's earliest dinosaurs. Plesarius Next on our list are Plesarius, creatures with a truly brutal appearance. These giant animals measured 3.5 meters and roamed the Earth 220 million years ago. They also witnessed the dawn of the dinosaurs. Despite their fearsome appearance, these creatures were herbivores, and their tusks were likely used to dig up root vegetables from the soil or to strip bark from trees. However, when they got into fights, these tusks turned into deadly weapons. Unfortunately, they were not deadly enough to fend off predators like Pasto Suchis. Pasto Suchis Pasto Suchis was one of the largest carnivorous reptiles on Earth at the time. It reached 5 meters in length and stood up to 2 meters tall. Postosuchus was a distant relative of the dinosaurs and didn't mind dining on large mammal-like reptiles like Placerius. Due to its large size, Postosuchus required a massive amount of food and therefore had to defend a vast territory. The only creature it feared was another Postosuchus. However, it is possible that sometimes its prey posed a threat to it as well. Just as buffaloes can occasionally attack a lion today, Placerius could gang up on an unwary Postosuchus once in a while. Well, that's all for today, friends. Which of the ancient creatures in this episode impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like the channel, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Um, I'm Jeff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.